Hey guys, Jared here with Print Your Future. Uh, so I'm going to have another real quick video after I drink some coffee. Uh, my daughter finally went down for a nap, but uh, today's video should be super quick because I'm not actually printing anything. I've already printed the parts. Uh, I'll put a description in the link below. Um, but I don't see the need to create my own parts when these ones are fully available. Um, but like I said, uh, I'm going to do a quick upgrade to the CR10. Uh, I'll probably end up doing the same upgrade to the second CR10 eventually, but uh, this is just going to be on my main one, the orange one. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and install a new camera mount. Which is this guy right here. Uh, and this one attaches to the bed and then it allows you to put either a GoPro or in this case, I'm going to be doing some modifications to a webcam. That so takes the same GoPro style adapter. But so let's go ahead and uh, go over to the CR10 real quick and install this. Hi right, guys, so here is the CR10. Uh, like I said, this particular mount that we're going to be installing actually installs below. Um, take the camera off the tripod real quick. Actually, it installs on this uh, guide plate down here uh, where the well, thumb adjusters are. So the downside to this particular one is that uh, this particular mount, though it is very steady or looks very steady, looks like it should be very stable, um, is right now the printer is perfectly flat, perfectly level. Um, now I have to undo that, which means we're probably gonna have to spend about another 10, 15 minutes to restabilize it. So, but that's the price you have to pay to do upgrades. I'm gonna lower this uh, tripod just a little bit more. All right, so first things first, I'm sorry about the mess. First things first, just going to go ahead and undo these tuning knobs. Drop them completely out. Actually, we'll go ahead and pull off the glass so that we can pull the screws out. Let's pull off the glass, set it somewhere where it won't get broken, hopefully. All right, so now this screw can pop up. Pull the screw out. Take out the spring. Same thing on this side. And just pull the screw out and the spring. Keep those together. Hold that up. Do a little something like that. I'll actually move that over a little bit so you can kind of see it. I just threw my screw somewhere. There it is. All right, there you'll see some uh, blue plastic kind of falling out there. Um, the holes aren't perfectly matched, but they're pretty close. Uh, it'll actually provide some thread on there so we haven't actually put the nut back on the bottom side yet but it's tightening down so I'll do the same thing on this side my other daughter yelling in the background all right and then because I've got these oversized wheel tuners which are amazing I put them on on the reverse side so that they don't fall off on you so you just take the uh, standard tuning wheel this is the bottom side of the wheel. Put it like that. And just thread it on. Alright, so that is this camera mount installed. Like I said it's pretty it's pretty uh, pretty stable. So now for the next part is we're gonna go ahead and get the camera set up. And the reason we're doing the webcam as well as the GoPro, the GoPro gives better uh, video, but 
I use the Raspberry Pis as Octoprint server. So if you guys don't have uh, Raspberry Pis, I strongly recommend these. These are amazing for everything from Kodi boxes to this one here is a Kali Linux server or a Kali Linux uh, um, drive to play with. Uh, and then of course this is the one that's running my Octoprint. So I'm gonna be also making a case for that that will attach to the side of the printer. Uh, but then all you do is just plug a webcam into it via USB. You can use the uh, Pi cams, which is a, a popular a popular choice for people. But I've just had issues trying to get the code to work properly and the resolution's not as good as the webcam. So we're gonna go ahead and get that. Uh, my current setup is actually this one here. Um, also add a link to the description for the, that one. Let me Take the camera out here. But, so it just attaches to the arm. But the problem that I was having is, unless you flip the camera downwards, which I was doing with my GoPro, um, because I've got the shark cage on it, which I'll show you here in a second. Um, basically, the extruder blocks a lot of the uh, video for the time lapse. Um, so with this, it should always have a, a perfect view of what's going on. All right, so let's head back on over to the uh, desk over here, and we'll take a look at the camera. Pardon the mess. I keep telling myself I'm going to clean my office, and I never do. All right, so again, you have a couple different options uh, when you're doing this. The uh, uh, Raspberry Pi. When you're running the Octoprint server, it gives you the option when you have a camera plugged into it that'll automatically do a time lapse for you, which is nice. Or if you don't want to use the, the camera for a time lapse, you can just use something a higher quality like this uh, GoPro Hero 4 here. Uh, any of the new GoPros also work. But uh, I currently have this one and the uh, Go Tough Shark Cage, which is an amazing little uh, adapter for this camera. I did a video on this a while back and I still love it. The upside to one of these is a you can frame it pretty well with the uh, back screen there. You can control it with your phone. It does the time lapse, of course. All uh, right, now I've got Arca Swiss uh, adapter plate on it, but I can also swap that out for one of these little guys, which is uh, again just a little uh, GoPro style uh, two prong foot adapter, whatever you want to call those. So again, if you're doing time lapse and you want higher quality time lapse, this is the way to go. Uh, for the most part, I'm just going to be shooting time lapse with this camera because it does it automatically and it exports it when the print's done. So uh, I can't remember. I want to say this is like the G900 or something like that. I'll, I'll put the uh, link to the description of what camera this is. They're like 100 bucks. Uh, I was using this Logitech here, uh, but so this was the camera that I was using. I don't want to tear this one apart. Uh, it'd be pretty easy again if I wanted to. I could just, oops, I could just thread this right onto the bottom, and it'd work. So th this again is a, a good option. It's really high quality camera. Love this thing. I use this one for when I stream video games. So I'll put that back up there because I don't want to tear it apart. And you know, moving it around constantly would be a pain in the butt. But it is an option to where you can just plug it in via USB if you want to. But for the sake of argument, this is the one that I'm going to be going with today. So all I have to do is figure out how to take off this mount to attach to this. And again, this was uh, designed for this specific camera. So move that to the side. And these are just uh, little GoPro style mounting nuts or bolts, I should say. So if I'm not mistaken with this camera, which by the way, you should always watch a tutorial before you do stuff, which I have not done. So we're gonna go ahead and just start tearing this one apart. I'm pretty sure it's just these two screws here and here. So we'll go ahead and take those out first. All right guys, so it turns out I was wrong on how to take this apart. So instead of taking off the back plate, you just remove this which if it wants to cooperate. And there's four more screws underneath the mounting arms. And that looks like it just kind of press fits in there. I'm not real happy with that, to tell you the truth. 
All right, so that's back together. Tighten that down. This screw here that come, came out from the other side. Still not real happy with that, but that's how that goes. It looks like. All right, now that that's in place. All we're going to do is take one of these GoPro screws because it's uh, all printed in PLA. Should be pretty malleable. It'll make its own threads. Also, this camera looks like it might be too far off to the right for my taste, so I might end up flipping that over, but let's go ahead and test it first to see what we're looking like. And again, all I do is just take the USB plug here, plug it directly into the Raspberry Pi, which is over here. I'll create a uh, uh, cable weight and everything for that to go in so it doesn't get caught on anything. But for the time being, to test it out, what we're going to do is we're going to turn off the CR10 since the CR10 power is plugged directly into the uh, Raspberry Pi. We'll turn that off, give it a second, turn it back on, and then we just wait for it to power up. All right, so here we are with the OctoPrint uh, interface. It's a web interface. So we're just going to give this a minute to start up. And there we go, when it starts up, you can already see the camera. I'll go ahead and put my hand over here. All right. So again, it looks like it's too far to the right for my likings. So what I'm going to do real quick is I'm just going to flip it over. All right, guys, so finished the first print with the new camera mount. So I'm going to have to do some adjustments, definitely. So with the camera on it, unfortunately, it does tend to impact with this when it goes to do the uh, nozzle wipe. So I'll, for the time being, I'm just gonna start it without the camera on there, but I'll probably have to switch out to a different camera. It just hangs too far forward. So, but here's just a little test cube. I went ahead and re-leveled the bed. Pulls it right off. Nice glass finish at the bottom that I like. Get some focus here. That's just a little XYZ calibration cube. So I'll show you guys the time lapse. Again, the time lapse, uh, it works. It's not the highest quality because, again, it's just being saved directly onto the Octoprint server. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and change it because it's really quick. Uh, it's doing a snapshot every 10 seconds. So I'll go ahead and drop that down to probably 3 to 5 seconds just to get a uh, more stable time lapse. Um, but all in all, I'd have to go ahead and call this one a win for the uh, mount. The uh, mount itself is working great. It's just the uh, webcam that I'm not really happy with right now. So uh, we'll just use the make sure the GoPro and probably the other Logitech camera. So, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, again, please like, share, uh, comment, subscribe. And if there's anything that you guys want to see in the future, please just let me know. Thanks, guys. Bye.